हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टुडेज जीके लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डे प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज व्हाट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व्स ऑफ इंडिया वन फॉरेक्स एसेट्स टू गोल्ड रिजर्व्स थ्री स्पेशल ड्राइंग राइट्स और एस डी आर फोर रिजर्व ट्रेंच विद द इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड और आई एम एफ सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर यूजिंग द कोड गिवन बिलो वन टू एंड थ्री ओनली टू थ्री एंड फोर ओनली वन थ्री एंड फोर ओनली और वन टू थ्री एंड फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी वन टू थ्री एंड फोर रिसेंटली इंडिया फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व हैव अचीव्ड द हाइएस्ट वीकली गेन इन मोर देन अ ईयर फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व आर एसेट्स हेल्ड इन फॉरन करेंसी बाय द सेंट्रल बैंक इंक्लूडिंग बॉन्ड्स ट्रेजरी बिल्स एंड अदर गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज India's foreign exchange reserves include foreign currency assets, gold reserves, special drawing rights or SDR and reserve tranches with the International Monetary Fund or IMF. Hence option D is correct. Most of the foreign exchange reserves are kept in US dollars. Now let's begin today's session. First question is with reference to Indian defense and security, the joint military training 2022 is taking place. It will be between India and which of the following countries? Japan, Singapore, Australia or USA. The correct answer is option B, Singapore. Recently the 11th edition of the annual joint military training or JMT between the Indian Air Force that is IAF and the Republic Singapore Air Force that is RSAF commenced at Air Force Station Kalaikunda. Hence option B is correct. The two air forces have resumed this training after a gap of 2 years. This addition of JMT would be conducted over a period of 6 weeks while the IAF would field the Sukhoi 30 MKI, Jaguar MiG-29 and LCA Tejas aircraft. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Atal Innovation Mission. 1 It was launched by Ministry of Science and Technology. 2 It was launched in 2015. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are not correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, Atal Innovation Mission or AIM Niti Aayog launched the fourth edition of Innovations for You Coffee Table Book, featuring 75 successful women entrepreneurs of India. AIM is launched by the Niti Aayog and is Government of India's flagship initiative to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country. Hence statement 1 is not correct. AIM is ensuring creation of a problem solving innovative mindset in schools and creating an ecosystem of entrepreneurship in universities, research institutions, private and MSME sector. It was set up in 2016 hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option C is correct AIM has launched the Atal Tinkering Lab or ATL program ATL is a state of the art space established in the school across the country through Atal incubation centers or AICs at universities institutions and corporates AIM is creating an ever evolving ecosystem of startups and entrepreneurs Next question is which of the following is not correct about the nanoparticles they are tiny materials having size ranges from 1 to 100 nm they have low surface area their optical properties are reported to be dependent on the size or they can be environmental toxic the correct answer is option b they have low surface area nanoparticles are tiny materials having size ranges from 1 to 100 nm They can be classified into different classes based on their properties, shapes or sizes. They possess unique physical and chemical properties due to their high surface area and nanoscale size. Hence option B is correct. Their optical properties are reported to be dependent on the size which imparts different colors due to absorption in the visible region. Their reactivity, toughness and other properties are also dependent on their unique size, shape and structure. Heavy metal nanoparticles of lead, mercury and tin are reported to be so rigid and stable that their degradation is not easily achievable, which can lead to many environmental toxicities. Next question is the concept of public interest litigation or PIL originated and developed in which of the following countries? United Kingdom United States of America France or Canada 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन ओरिजिनेटेड एंड डेवलप्ड इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका और यूएसए हैंस ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट इन द यूएसए इट वॉज डिजाइन टू प्रोवाइड लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेशन टू प्रीवियसली अन रिप्रेजेंटेड ग्रुप्स एंड इंटरेस्ट इट वॉज अंडरटेकन इन रिकोगशन ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट द ऑर्डिनरी मार्केट प्लेस फॉर लीगल सर्विसेज फेल्स टू प्रोवाइड सच सर्विसेज टू सिग्निफिकेंट सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन एंड टू सिग्निफिकेंट इंटरेस्ट In India the PIL is a product of the judicial activism role of the Supreme Court. It was introduced in the early 1980s. Justice V R Krishna Iyer and Justice P N Bhagwati were the pioneers of the concept of PIL. PIL is also known variously as social action litigation or SAL, social interest litigation or SIL and class action litigation that is CAL. Next question is in the context of space science the insight short for interior exploration using seismic investigations geodesy and heat transport is meant to be designed for which of the following planets mercury venus mars or jupiter the correct answer is option c mars after nearly 4 years spent on the martian surface NASA's InSight lander is coming to the end of its life as the spacecraft's power generation continues to decline because of dust blown on the lander's solar panels. Hence option C is correct. InSight, short for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, Geodesy and Heat Transport is a Mars lander designed to give the red planet its first thorough checkup since it formed 4.5 billion years ago. It is the first outer space robotic explorer to study in depth the inner space of Mars, its crust, mantle and core. This mission is part of NASA's discovery program for highly focused science missions that ask critical questions in solar system science. It was launched in 2018. Next question is the graded response action plan or GRAP is associated with which of the following ones? Air pollution in Delhi, marine environment melting of ice in antarctica or forest fires the correct answer is option a air pollution in delhi grap is a set of emergency measures that kick in to prevent further deterioration of air quality once it reaches a certain threshold in the delhi ncr region hence option a is correct approved by the supreme court in 2016 and notified in 2017 The plan was formulated after several meetings that the Environment Pollution Prevention and Control Authority or EPCA held with state government representatives and experts. The result was a plan that institutionalized measures to be taken when air quality deteriorates. GRAP is incremental in nature and thus when the air quality dips from poor to very poor, measures listed under both sections have to be followed. Next question is recently the term just transition was in the news it is related to low carbon emission formula 1 racing notion given by t h green or light pollution the correct answer is option a low carbon emission the term just transition used to describe a shift to a low carbon economy that keeps the social and economic disruption of moving away from fossil fuels to a minimum while maximizing the benefits for workers communities and consumers hence option a is correct next question is with reference to the environment the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities or cbdr was enshrined in which of the following ones paris pact kyoto accord nagoya protocol or kigali agreement the correct answer is option b kyoto accord The principle of common but differentiated responsibilities or CBDR was enshrined in the Kyoto Accord. It says that developed countries which produced more emissions in the past as they built their economies should take the lead in fighting climate change. Hence option B is correct. The Paris Agreement sought to bind major rapidly developing economies such as China and Brazil into the global effort to cut emissions. adding the words in light of different national circumstances it does not however require them to make any immediate pledges to cut their emissions next question is with reference to the opm cultivation consider the following statements 
वन इट इज द एसेंशियल इंग्रीडियंट फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग द स्ट्रीट ड्रग हेरोइन टू जकार्ट इज टैक्स पेड ऑन ओपीएम इन अफगानिस्तान विच ऑफ द अब गिवन स्टेटमेंट और स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉट टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू ओपीएम कल्टिवेशन इन अफगानिस्तान लेटेस्ट फाइंडिंग्स एंड इमर्जिंग थ्रेड्स इज द फर्स्ट रिपोर्ट ऑन द इलिसिट ओपीएम ट्रेड सिंस द तालिबान रिटर्न टू पावर इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इट वॉज रिलीज बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑफिस ऑन ड्रग्स एंड क्राइम दैट इज यू एन ओ डी सी ओ पी एम इज द एसेंशियल इंग्रीडियंट फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग द स्ट्रीट ड्रग हेरोइन एंड द क्लास ऑफ मेडिकल प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ओपियॉइड्स विच मिलियंस रिलाय ऑन फॉर पेन मेडिकेशन वर्ल्ड वाइड हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट अ बैन ऑन कल्टिवेशन इम्पोज बाय द तालिबान इन अप्रैल एग्जम्पटेड द स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप एंड हार्वेस्ट एंड सेंट द प्राइस ऑफ ओ पी एम शूटिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू यू एन ओ डी सी फाइंडिंग्स कल्टिवेशन ऑफ ओ पी एम पॉपीज इन अफगानिस्तान इंक्रीज बाय थर्टी टू परसेंट ओवर द प्रीवियस ईयर द टेन परसेंट जकार्ट ऑन ओ पी एम फॉर्मरली पेड टू द विलेज मुल्लाज वॉज नॉट डायरेक्टेड टू द तालिबान ट्रेजरी हैंस स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट देअ फोर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर द टर्म अल्पना इज रेफर टू फोक डांस मार्शियल आर्ट फोक म्यूजिक और फॉर्म ऑफ रंगोली द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी फॉर्म ऑफ रंगोली अल्पना द फॉर्म ऑफ रंगोली प्रैक्टिस इन बंगाल इज अ नेचुरल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द आर्टिस्टिक सेंसिबिलिटी ऑफ द पीपल प्रैक्टिस यूजली बाय द वुमेन फोक ऑफ द स्टेट द आर्ट फॉर्म रिप्रेजेंट एंड एमलगमेशन ऑफ द पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल एज द कॉन्टेम्प्ररी डिजाइंस even though the basic designs are more or less same new forms and new colors are being tried on a large scale the changing moods of the seasons are also very much reflected in the alpana designs of india the patterns are made with the help of a small piece of cloth drenched in a blend of powdered rice hence option d is correct now it's time for the practice question recently the word haya card was in the news it is related to which of the following countries ताजिकिस्तान कतर सऊदी अरेबिया और टर्की सेंड द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन स्टेट यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग